And one of my subs wants to, wants to know what you think about the whole Harry and Meghan situation and the documentary that's been released. Start your new life. Get a job, Harry. <laughs> So, contrary to popular belief, Prince Harry is still very popular. His new book, Spare, has broken sales records. Uh, one report I hear it sold 1.4 million in its first day of release and broke sales records for first day books um, that are nonfiction. Now, I just want to let everyone know that I my opinions are going to be very unpopular and that's okay. Um, I don't think the same way as everybody else. I have a unique mind. I'm a logical thinker. And maybe because I'm a woman of colour myself. Uh, and let me just make it clear. I don't feel sorry for Harry and Meghan. I don't feel sorry for them. They have a lot in life. They've, you know, they've got a lot of money. Um, they, have, they seem like two healthy individuals. They've got two beautiful children. You know um, they're privileged people, so I don't feel sorry for them at all. But I do empathise with some of the things that Harry has written in his book on both sides, on both Meghan's side and Harry's side. And you have to understand that maybe because I'm a woman of colour, I have more compassion and sympathy towards Meghan than the average person. Uh, so bear that in mind. You know, we all... Our opinions are based on who we are, not just what we think because of what we read, but because of our backgrounds. So if we've had a certain experience and somebody else talks about having that kind of experience, we're going to be more empathetic towards that person because we've experienced that ourselves. So I might have had some of the same experiences that Megan has had, and that makes me more compassionate towards her than somebody else on the outside might be okay so i just want to let everyone know that i understand that my opinions are going to be unpopular and i'm not doing this for views i'm doing this because i think it's an important topic to discuss on my channel so i'm going to give you a background story and i'm going to lay out what i what my theory is and what my opinion is on this and you can always give me your feedback and tell me what your opinion is it's not necessarily going to be the same as mine and if I get any views for this, I'll be very surprised. I'm not doing it for views. I'm doing it to tell my side of the story. This is my podcast. And every now and then I'm going to do topics that are not necessarily going to get views. But there you go. I'm just telling my side. Once when I was about 18, I was doing a job, a sales job alongside this blonde, blue eyed girl and her friend. And it was in Leicester Square. So this is in central London. And it was a Friday night and it was about eight or nine o'clock at night. Lots of party revelers, club goers, people bar hopping. And we were getting, we were getting male attention, me and this other blonde girl. But I was getting probably slightly more attention than this blonde blue eyed girl was. And she didn't like me for that reason. She thought because she was blonde hair and blue eyed that she was superior to me. She thought that because I was a woman of colour, that I shouldn't be getting as much attention as she was. I was stealing some of her limelight. Now, her friend was also blonde, but she wasn't particularly, you know, she was she was happy to be the, the sidekick. She wasn't interested in attention. She didn't have to be the centre of attention. Some people, are, you know, some people are happy being a sidekick and taking a lesser role. And, you know, she wasn't really getting attention, you know, from the opposite, you know, she wasn't getting attention from males and she was happy to just be a sidekick. But I was, and the blonde haired blue eyed girl 
I knew I think she knew why I was getting attention, but she didn't, you know, the way she would look at me, the way she was very she wasn't very pleasant towards me simply because she thought I was stealing some of her limelight and she thought because she was blonde hair and blue eyed I shouldn't be getting any male attention or eat that was equal or more than her. Now I'm telling you this because this is going to lead me into the reason why there is a problem between Harry and his brother. Um, now, even though I'm team Harry and Meghan, I do like William and Kate. I think they are, they've set great examples for the royal family. I think that they've done a great job. I think they make a great couple. I think they've built a beautiful family. And I think they've followed all the royal um, protocols you know, they are, they smile, they wave, and they do everything right in terms of public, um, for public show, you know, they appear to be uh, very suitable for the royal uh, role that they've been given. The thing about William is that he was the guy that was married with, with, with Kate and the kids, while uh Prince Harry was kind of his brother sidekick, kind of single, directionless. And um, even though Harry was always very popular, you know, Prince William had some of the limelight on him. He was the older brother. He was next in line and he felt important. You know, he was the more important brother to Harry in his eyes because he was next in line. Harry is the spare brother, not next in line, not regarded, regarded as important in terms of his royal existence as William is. And I think when Meghan came along, because she's American, because she's biracial, all of these things make her intriguing for the paparazzi, for the press. And that's why she was getting all the attention. Of course, she's good looking as well. She's attractive. Um, and I'm going to tell you this. The reason why Harry was attracted to Meghan is because she looks like Kate. Meghan looks like Kate, or at least she has the same attributes. Meghan is a more exotic version of Kate. They're both tall. They're both thin, pencil thin. They're not curvy women. They're pencil thin. Um, they both have long, dark hair. Um, Kate has long brown hair and Megan has long dark brown hair. Kate is fair, Megan is a bit darker, a bit browner, more exotic, therefore more interesting because, um, you know, to the press, because back in the day, you wouldn't be able to marry somebody of colour, especially if you were next in line. You know, Megan is like the forbidden fruit that Harry nabbed. And that makes her more interesting to the press than Kate or William. So when Meghan came along, all the press and the paparazzi focused their attention on her. And that took a bit of the limelight away from um, Prince William and Kate. And that's why they don't like Meghan, because she was getting all the attention. It was about ego for William. It was an ego um, trip that he fell on. And because Meghan was, you know, they would go to an event next day. Who would be on the front cover? Meghan Markle, Meghan Markle, Meghan Markle. Um, and his self-importance, William's self-importance, took a bit of a, I don't want to say, I'm, I'm trying to make this ad friendly, but it took away his feeling of self-importance. William was supposed to be the important brother, the important person, the senior member of the royal family in terms of the younger royals. And Meghan was getting all the attention. And that caused conflict between the brothers. Now, a lot of this can boil down to whether you believe Harry or not. I believe everything that Harry has said, everything. I believe that he's the only one in the royal family that's been able to be honest. And that's being honest. You know, while the other members of the royal family seem to smile, wave, but I've never really gotten a sense of who Kate Middleton really is. Um, she doesn't ever really show any emotion. She smiles and she waves. 
she does her job perfectly. But I've never really gotten a real sense of who she is. And it was the same with Princess Diana, you know, in terms of what Harry's doing. Diana would tell you the truth of what was really going on. Whereas every, you know, everyone else in the royal family would smile and wave. And this is what Harry's doing. Harry's telling the truth of what's really gone on. He doesn't just smile and wave and pretend everything is okay. And that's what I like about Harry. Now, Harry discusses and talks about in his book and in interviews, a situation where William came to visit him and they got into it, or at least William got into it with him. It wasn't the other way around. And I believe this 100% that this happened. Um, I don't believe that there's going to be any reconciliation between the brothers until Meghan is out of the picture. So as long as Meghan stays, you know, as long as Meghan is his wife, is Harry's wife, I don't believe there'll be any reconciliation between the brothers because um, William's ego is too much. Meghan is a problem for him, for William. And as long as she's in the picture and still getting, you know, taking the limelight, it's a bit different now because they've moved, but, you know, whether it be negative or positive attention, I mean, Megan has got a lot of neg- you know, negative attention. You know, constantly comparing her to Kate was one of the things that the press liked to do because it sells papers. When you pit somebody against another person, it, it sells. And Megan always got the the fuzzy end of the lollipop on that. You know, Kate was, was talked about favourably and Megan wasn't. And that, people like that. People like it when you pit people against each other and one has to be the hero and the other person has to be, uh, you know, the not so wonderful person. And I think that's one of the reasons why Harry and Meghan decided to leave the country because, you know, whether you have money or not, constantly being pitted against somebody in a less favourable manner, you know, is not a particularly pleasant thing to have to live with, even if you're getting all the attention. And I think that's one of the reasons. And there are many other reasons why Megs it happened and why and why they left to go to America. There are many reasons. Um, but in terms of the brothers healing their relationship, I think as long as Megan is in the picture, I think William sees Megan as a dilemma. And as long as Megan is in, in the picture and, and, and getting the limelight, Prince William is not going to be, um, their relationship, Prince William and Harry's relationship is not going to get any better. I think she would have to be taken out of the equation for their relationship to heal. It's like you've got three people getting along just fine. Three ingredients in a pot. You add a very spicy ingredient into that pot and it rearranges, it adds a different flavour. It adds a different perspective. It adds a different, um, you know, it has, it adds a different element. Uh, she was a new element that was added that didn't agree with the other flavours in the, the in the pot. She was the spicy element that was added to the pot that the other flavours didn't gel with. And um, that's what happened. You know, the Fab Four never was a Fab Four. Um, and, and, and Harry said that they didn't like Meghan from the very beginning, even though they were suit fans. And I think it's because she got a lot of attention. Now, I'm not saying that Meghan is a perfect human being, that she doesn't have flaws. I'm not here to say whether she whether I like her as a person or not. That's really not that's really besides the point. I'm just saying what my perspective is on the whole situation. I think. Prince William resented and even maybe Kate too the fact that Meghan came along and was getting all of this attention I don't think he liked it at all and she was the added ingredient to the pot that didn't gel with the other members didn't gel with the other ingredients and you know Harry's saying that he hopes that him and his brother can be close one day again but I don't think it's going to happen as long as Meghan is around so you know if there one day is a separation between Harry and Meghan then I think there's a chance. But as it stands, I don't believe that there's going to be a genuine, loving, affectionate relationship between the brothers. 
while Megan is around, I think that she was the element that kind of didn't agree with the other elements or the other aspects or the other ingredients in the pot. She was an outsider that added too much spice to the mix. That's my opinion. <laughs>